Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites, and let's go straight to our Indigenous Affairs expert. I can't see the cultural sensitivity when people have been climbing the rock all these years and now all of a sudden they want to shut it down. Yes, Pauline Hanson is not happy about Uluru being closed to climbers, and nor is Steve Price. I think what we need to do is sit down with them and explain that this could be a positive for them. Yep, the all-white Today Show panel were outraged, with Pauline wondering whatever next. It's no different to coming out and saying, we're going to close down Bondi Beach. Close Bondi Beach? Poor Pauline. She's so confused. I don't get it. I really don't get it. But if Anthony kept watching Nine, she might have seen the light. So this is about Indigenous people having some sort of say over what happens on their land and their sacred sites. Ah, yes. But why was that news to Pauline? Because last week she told Sky... I'm Indigenous. I was born here. This is my land. Why do they give her airtime? Ratings, of course, and she was soon on 2GB to continue her attack. I think there's a load of BS that's going on now, saying that it's, you know, sacred land and shouldn't be actually climbing the rock. Yes, those Aboriginal people don't know what's good for them. And Ben Fordham agreed. You watch, they'll shut it down and then someone will turn around in a year's time and say, hang on a moment, we need to open this thing back up. And did anyone think of asking the Ananu people? Uh, no. But now to footy and how to upstage a league legend, Benji Marshall, in his 300th game. And we've got a streaker on the field. Wow. Rams, where's those binoculars? You don't want to look. <laughs> oh, right? yes, I do. <laughs> you don't need binoculars, I can assure you. Oh, really? Let's take a closer look, shall we? Oh, you know, they've pixelated his tackle, but sadly for him, not his face. Happens to be a Sydney radio executive by the name of Matthew Cooper. And that's not all. The 34-year-old executive was apparently a guest at the game with complimentary tickets through his employer. Yes, that would be Southern Cross Osterio, which broadcasts high-class radio on stations like uh, Fox FM and Triple M. Blindfolds off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> what a shock! <laughs> you dickheads! Oh, so! Did Osterio also laugh off Matthew Cooper's on field reveal? Well, no. The nudie rum cost him his job. Make it injustice. But now to Hero of the Week! Which goes to Melbourne man Nick Ziglinis, who fought off an armed robber at his local 7 Eleven. And was only too happy to reenact it all for the cameras on Nine. Now they're standing here with a gun. Down, everybody down, you down. Line! Aha! Go for glory, you know, like a try. Good stuff! And Seven was also capturing the show. Now I'm trying to get him over there because I'm wondering if they might shoot. They might even shoot him. And who can blame them when this was the grand finale? I did my MMA around the head. Tackle! And that's it, hang on. Give that man a Logie and let's see him do it live on the night. But now, let's see what's coming up on 7 News in Tasmania. Hobart has voted, will building height limits come into effect? Hobrat? Sounds like something from Harry Potter. And we'll be back with Media Watch Monday night on the ABC, 9.15, also social media and iView. Don't miss it.